it's not the best position to be in, but I would not say that it's dire. But that's not how the state controller sees it. A report from his department says a local district is in serious financial trouble. Good evening, everyone. I'm Don Postles. And I'm Jackie Walker. East Aurora is ranked as the state's most significantly stressed school district when it comes to money. News 4's Jen Schantz found out this has been a growing problem. She's here now with how the district is responding. Jen? Well, Jackie, the East Aurora Union Free District says a lot of factors have contributed to the district's lack of financial stability. But as you heard from that spokesperson, they don't consider this situation a dire one. While this isn't the worst financial stress the state has ever seen, the Comptroller's Office tells me this is a little unusual. They evaluated 26 schools in this report. Take a look at the district's financial history. In the past three years, its financial stress has gotten worse, taking a major hit from last year to this year, where it ranked as having a stress level of 73.3%. That's the highest of all of the districts in the state. It's one of just two districts in the state under, quote, significant financial stress. The Comptroller's Office looks at districts from a bird's eye view here. They consider fund balances, how much districts have to borrow, and fund deficiencies. East Aurora has had fund deficiencies the last three years, according to the Comptroller's Office. A district spokesperson tells me some unexpected hurdles contributed to the district's current financial situation. The lack of state aid, the tax cap, and we had um, an anomaly happen where 10 high needs special education students moved into our district that we were not aware of at the budget time. We're working on a three-year um, budget strategy to rebuild our fund balance to acceptable levels. Um, to help bring us out of fiscal stress. Now, you may be wondering why Buffalo City Schools are not ranked on this list. That's because Buffalo Schools are tied to the city's budget. So the Comptroller evaluates districts like that in the spring along with the city. West Seneca, Evans Brant, Springville, and Niagara Wheatfield were all listed under moderate financial stress. Keep in mind, these designations are meant to serve as a guide or a checkup so that districts are aware of where they stand. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 5.